What if a suspension component that looks like a starfish is the reason an electric SUV priced around $45,000 could ride, handle, and feel more refined than vehicles costing twice as much? That's exactly what's happening with the Rivian R2. Quietly, without a massive marketing push, Rivian has revealed a suspension design that has sent automotive engineers, enthusiasts, and longtime vehicle dynamics experts into a frenzy. This isn't a cosmetic tweak or a minor refinement. It's a fundamental rethink of how an affordable electric SUV should drive, and it may end up changing expectations across the entire segment. The Rivian R2 isn't just aiming to be another electric crossover, it's aiming to be the best driving electric SUV in its class. And the secret weapon lies in its rear suspension. Rivian's upcoming R2 represents a pivotal moment for the company. Positioned below its larger, more expensive vehicles, the R2 is designed to bring Rivian's engineering philosophy to a far broader audience. It targets buyers who want something practical, efficient, and reasonably priced, but who don't want to sacrifice how a vehicle feels on the road. At the center of this ambition is a deceptively simple-looking component that has earned the nickname Starfish. When images of the R2's rear suspension were shared publicly, what immediately caught attention wasn't flashy technology or exotic materials, it was geometry. Clean, intentional, highly optimized geometry. The rear suspension features a forged aluminum knuckle with five arms radiating outward from a central hub, visually resembling a starfish. Each of those arms connects directly to one of the five suspension links in the R2's multi-link rear setup. But this isn't just a design flourish. Every aspect of this component exists for a reason. Instead of using multiple separate mounting points, brackets, and external bushings, Rivian integrated all five connection points directly into a single forged aluminum structure. Each suspension link attaches through a bushing housed within the starfish itself. This consolidation dramatically reduces part count, complexity, and weight, especially where it matters most. To understand why this is such a big deal, you need to understand unsprung mass. Unsprung mass refers to everything not supported by the vehicle's springs, wheels, tires, brakes, hubs, and suspension components. The heavier these parts are, the harder it is for the suspension to react quickly to road imperfections. High unsprung mass leads to harsher rides, less grip over uneven surfaces, and slower suspension response. Reducing unsprung mass is one of the most effective ways to improve ride quality and handling at the same time, but it's also one of the hardest things to do cost-effectively. Traditional multi-link suspensions often use multiple steel brackets, separate bushings, and redundant hardware. Each piece adds weight, each fastener adds complexity. Rivian's solution replaces much of that with a single forged aluminum component that does multiple jobs at once. Forged aluminum is exceptionally strong for its weight. By integrating all five mounting points and their bushings into a single forged aluminum structure, Rivian eliminates unnecessary material without sacrificing strength or durability. But that's only part of the story. Those five stamped steel links connect to an isolated rear subframe, a feature typically reserved for luxury vehicles. This subframe is mounted to the vehicle's main structure through compliant bushings, allowing it to absorb vibrations before they reach the cabin. The result is a mechanical filter that dramatically reduces noise, vibration, and harshness while preserving precise control over wheel movement. This combination, Low unsprung mass, integrated bushings, and an isolated subframe is what allows the R2 to promise both comfort and control without relying on expensive adaptive hardware. Multi-link suspension itself is nothing new. What matters is how it's executed. Most vehicles in this price range rely on simpler rear suspension designs. Torsion beam axles are common because they're cheap and compact, but they mechanically link the rear wheels together. When one wheel encounters a bump, the other is affected. It's efficient, but it's a compromise. 
McPherson struts offer simplicity and space efficiency, but they limit how precisely engineers can control wheel motion. A properly designed five-link rear suspension, however, exists in a different category entirely. With five independent links, engineers can control wheel movement in every direction, vertical travel, lateral positioning, and four add motion. Each link has a specific job. One manages camber, another controls tow, others handle longitudinal forces and vertical compliance. This level of control allows the tire's contact patch to remain optimally positioned on the road through bumps, corners, acceleration, and braking. Grip improves, stability improves, ride quality improves. What's particularly clever about the R2 is Rivian's choice to use stamped steel links rather than more expensive forged aluminum arms. This isn't a downgrade, it's smart engineering. Stamped steel is incredibly strong, durable, and consistent when designed correctly. It's widely used in high-performance and luxury vehicles because it offers excellent structural properties at a fraction of the cost of forged components. It also scales extremely well in high-volume production. By pairing stamped steel links with a lightweight forged aluminum knuckle, Rivian achieves an ideal balance between performance, durability, and cost efficiency. This is how you deliver premium dynamics without premium pricing. Reactions from enthusiasts and experienced owners have been telling. Owners familiar with Rivian's existing vehicles consistently praise the brand's suspension tuning, particularly its ability to adapt across different driving conditions. There's widespread recognition that Rivian understands vehicle dynamics at a deep level. At the same time, there's thoughtful discussion around complexity. Some point out that air suspension systems, while impressive, may be challenging to tune perfectly due to their many variables. In contrast, the R2's more conventional coil spring setup may actually allow for more refined, predictable behavior. Simplicity, when executed correctly, often leads to better results. There's also curiosity around long-term serviceability. Integrating bushings into a single component raises valid questions about repair costs and maintenance. These concerns are real, but they're also common trade-offs in modern suspension design, especially when performance and refinement are prioritized. What stands out most is optimism. Many enthusiasts believe the R2 may actually surpass larger, more expensive vehicles in handling precision simply because it's lighter, simpler, and more focused. From a technical standpoint, the geometry of the R2 suspension is where the magic truly happens. Camber control ensures the tire remains flat against the road during cornering. Toe control prevents unwanted steering inputs as the suspension compresses. Anti-squat geometry manages the immense torque delivery electric vehicles are known for, keeping the vehicle stable under hard acceleration. Anti-dive characteristics maintain composure during heavy braking. All of this is handled mechanically, through geometry, not software trickery. The isolated rear subframe further enhances refinement by absorbing high-frequency vibrations before they ever reach the cabin. Instead of feeling every crack and expansion joint, occupants experience a composed, controlled ride. This level of sophistication is rare at this price point. Many competitors offer multi-link rear suspension, but execution matters. Some prioritize comfort at the expense of engagement. Others focus on sportiness but allow harshness to creep in. Rivian appears to be targeting a balance that leans towards premium driving feel rather than raw numbers. When compared to its competitors, the R2's philosophy becomes even clearer. Some electric SUVs prioritize acceleration, screens, and software ecosystems. Others focus on range and charging infrastructure. Ride quality and handling refinement often take a back seat. Rivian is taking the opposite approach. Rather than chasing spec sheet dominance, the R2 is engineered to feel right, to inspire confidence, to make everyday driving enjoyable rather than merely efficient. There's no reliance on flashy active systems or overly complex hardware. Instead, the R2 relies on sound mechanical principles executed with precision.
This approach may not generate headlines as quickly, but it's the kind of engineering that owners appreciate every day. For real-world buyers, the implications are significant. A well-tuned suspension affects everything – comfort on long trips, confidence on winding roads, stability during emergency maneuvers, and even fatigue over time. Vehicles that ride well simply feel better to live with. Off-road capability also benefits. Independent wheel articulation allows each tire to maintain contact over uneven terrain, improving traction and control without sacrificing on-road refinement. There's also longevity to consider. Robust mechanical designs with fewer complex systems often age more gracefully. While no suspension component lasts forever, thoughtful engineering reduces wear and improves durability over the vehicle's lifespan. Vehicles known for excellent ride and handling tend to